Welcome to another episode of Sports and Discourse with your host, Derek Stevenson. Guys, we back at it again, and we got to talk about Trey Mitchell, formerly of West Virginia, now currently Big Blue Nation, a Kentucky Wildcat. And guys, honestly, um, I know a whole lot of people was getting worried. Uh, it just seemed like we was missing every single recruit that we was um, interested in. We was flying guys out. We was uh, recruiting this guy, uh, hosting this person. And it just seemed like everybody was turning us down. And of course, we um, were speculating that it was probably because guys was just looking for some money that they weren't getting at Kentucky then Kentucky comes out with the big blue of uh, the La Familia initiative. I'm sorry. And um, we got one of the first guys that we looked at after that. Uh, I don't know if he got any money from that or if that's not even in place yet. Maybe it's uh, for next year. I'm not sure. Um, I just heard about it. And then we uh, started to get some guys to come in. So I'm glad that uh, we finally started to finish up this roster. And, and honestly, I feel pretty good about it. Um, at first, I was thinking we were going to have a great roster, and then we kind of just started having um, a wild offseason, a whole bunch of guys. I think it ended up being like six guys transferred or left the program for uh, the NBA or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I'm happy for the guys that left and got opportunities to play professional basketball, but I wish some of them would have stayed because I just feel like um, – some of them could have uh, made a better push for next season. Um, maybe could have got a better draft status, uh, especially like Chris Livingston. Uh, I feel like for him to have settled for being drafted 58th, I wish he would have came back to school. He could have helped us uh, this coming season and helped himself. But, you know, we uh we had to deal with what we had to deal with. So I wish them guys the best of luck. And now we got to look at guys like Trey Mitchell that has come to help us and I feel confident a whole lot more than I did, uh, you know, when the first um, beginning of the offseason kicked off. So now I feel like Kentucky may be a legitimate top 20 to top 12 team right now. Uh, I would love to say that they, you know, a top five team, but I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, we still going to be dependent on a whole lot of guys that are young. But I, I, I feel comfortable putting them anywhere between 15 to 20 right now. But anyways, let's uh, look at Trey Mitchell and let's uh, go through what we think of this guy. One thing that, um, you know, we definitely needed, we just needed some more height because we lost pretty much all of our big men, um, and even though um, Ugana Ayenzo came back, uh, we had lost him at one point. So we was hurting um, as far as size goes. Now we got Aaron Bradshaw and, um, you know, we got Ayenzo, two guys at seven foot. Trey Mitchell's about six nine. So that's definitely going to help us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see uh, how this is going to shake up because I know Aaron Bradshaw is been pretty adamant that he wants to play the four position but trey mitchell looks like he is the stretch four. like he pretty much looks like he's playing the game the way that uh aaron bradshaw wants to play at kentucky so i'd be kind of interested to see how that pans out i don't know if if maybe cal would um not use them together so that they can both play stretch four or if he's going to put Mitchell at the center or maybe he'll somehow convince Bradshaw to play a little center. Not sure. Um, but he does seem like he likes to play out on the floor a little bit. He likes to utilize his jump shot. Seemed like a pretty decent shooter. The one thing that we definitely needed, man, we needed, um, we needed some size and, you know, he's not a, a really big guy but he's physically developed a lot more than you know some of the younger guys that's on Kentucky's team so um just uh, knowing that we got somebody that's that's already been through it some years in college basketball I think he uh I think this might be his fourth school he's played at I know he played at Texas um and uh obviously uh West Virginia he may have played at one more school outside of that I'm not for sure but um He's got a lot of college experience, so we know that um, he definitely uh, has been there, has done that. But um, I definitely think he's going to help them a lot because just having a guy that he looks pretty confident, you know, with what he does. 
um, the catch and shoot. I don't think he's going to have to, you know, dribble too much. He's not going to be asked to do as much as maybe he was at West Virginia. Uh, just rim run, catch and shoot. Because we're going to have so many good ball handlers, man. We're going to have guys that can get the ball up the court. Ball handling should not be a problem for Kentucky this year. We have tons of guards. We have guys that may be even playing small forward and shooting guard like Justin Edwards that could probably um, play point guard if necessary. So we're going to have a lot of guys that can get the ball up the court. So um, it should leave a lot of uh, moments for guys like a uh, Trey Mitchell and Aaron Bradshaw just like that to just run to a spot and be ready to catch and shoot because we're going to have guards flying down the court. Um, we're going to have probably like three guys on the court at all time that's capable of leading a break. So uh, just get to your spots and be ready like he's doing, man, and uh, just make sure you can um, you can hit them jump shots. He's probably not going to have to do all of that off the dribble. It's It's good that he can, in some cases, take people off the dribble, but I don't see it being really necessary. But um, yeah, man, I I like um, I like Trey Mitchell. He looks decent. Um, and I hope that he fits in well with the guys. And um, we needed him, man. I'm glad to glad to have him on the roster. And hopefully, uh, them guys uh be ready. Um, can't wait to watch him play this summer. And uh, see what's going on, man. I got to see what we look like. Because I know last summer I got fooled. Um, you know, I was thinking uh, we was going to come out and dominate everybody. And uh, I got a rude awakening. So I want to um, really see what's going on this time. I ain't going to make no predictions. I, I just got to let it play out. Wait till we start playing some uh, some high major competition and see what they look like. But I'm happy with the pieces that they ended up getting um obviously you know we got antonio reeves back that was big that whole situation was wild to me because at one minute it looked like he's going pro then it looked like he's coming back then the next thing you know he's enrolled in classes at illinois state then he's enrolled at kentucky so that whole situation was crazy but uh glad to have tone back man uh hopefully uh he's ready to go hopefully he can help lead some of these younger guys and push them and um uh, maybe they'll even push him in practice so Hopefully we got a whole lot of guys that's hungry to play and um, we can have, you know, some of that old uh, competition like we used to have with uh, a lot of our one and done teams where we had guys pushing each other in practice to get better. And um, the team grew as a result of that. So hopefully we young, but, um, you know, we got a couple of veterans, Trey Mitchell, uh, you know, and Antonio Reeves, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, man, looking for these guys to step up and help some of these younger guys and be ready. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about Trey Mitchell. I like him. Um, looks like a stretch four-ish type of player. Uh, may have to play some center for us. We'll see. But you guys let me know. Are you excited? And um, do you think Kentucky is a legit team now with some of the pieces that they've added? Let me know in the comments, and we'll get back at it next time. Sports and Discourse with Derek Stevenson.